hello everyone welcome back guys in this video i will explain how to make use of the apache pdf box open source java library to create pdf documents all right so that means that let's begin the video guys there are multiple java libraries available in the market like apache pdf box you have got itex you have got open pdf pdf clone and many more right in this video we'll focus on apache pdf box all right guys let's quickly talk about the capabilities or the features of apache pdf box java library okay first of all it's open source it's built in java what you can do with this library is you can extract text basically you can read the pdf file you can split and merge the pdf documents you can fill forms pre-flight means like you can validate pdf files against the pdf standards okay you can print you can save pdf as image you can create pdf you can digitally sign you can make it more secure by applying encryption this library is not limited to these particular features it provides many more features that you can that you can find on the official portal of apache pdf box all right let's talk about the important classes that we are going to use in this demo first of all we'll talk about the pd document java class this particular class will use to create the pdf document then there's another class called pd page we use this class to create pdf pages okay the next one is pd page content stream this is one of the very important class because we'll use this class to write content to the pdf okay the next one is pd image x object class this is but this particular class is to insert images into the pdf document okay then we have got the access permission class and then extended protection policy basically we use these classes to secure our pdf for example like you can make it more secure by applying some permissions like read only or or print only right and you can also set the password so that the one who has got the right password can only access the pdf document okay so we'll talk about each one in this demo and then last class is here pdf text stripper this particular class allows you to read the text content from the pdf all right guys it's time for a demo let me start the id and then we'll start writing the code all right so guys first of all let me just go and get a new java project and i'll call it pdf box pdf box you can name it whatever you want but i'm happy with this let's go and get a class first so the package name i'll give it com dot ok java dot pdf box and then class name is simple create pdf i want to have a main guys now very first thing that we need to have the set of libraries that we need right to create the pdf document so what i will do i'll go to the browser and then all right guys let's go to the official website of pdf box apache pdf box okay it's here so the portal is pdfbox.apache.org and if you come down here you will see that uh, we have got the latest list which is 3.0.0 click on download and if you come down here you will see libraries for each sub project that is what i prefer right? so basically you have to go and download all the libraries mentioned here like all the jar files pdf box pdf box io font box preflight gembox pdf tools pdf debugger and all right and one more thing for example if you have a memon based project what you have to do is pdf box and then you type maven click on the very first link okay like select the version 3.0.0 so this is the dependency that you can add in your pom.xml file what i want to explain here is that you have to go down and check for the dependencies so along with all these jars we also need commons logging jar file if you click on this one you will get it from there we also need bouncy cache provider okay bc provider jdk 18 on right so we need these two libraries as well i already have all the jar files on my local so if i go to my downloads uh, you can see i've got all the jar files I have got commons logging and I have got bouncy castle provider as well. Okay, so what I will do, I will just select all, jar, all the jars from here. Control C. I'll go to my workspace. Let's go and create a new folder and let's call it lib. Okay, this is my library. Okay, I will just copy everything here. Done. I have got all my libraries. I'll just rename it to in a small later school. Let's go back to the ID. Refresh and let's go and go to Java build path. We'll add all the jar files to our build path so that we are all set to write our code okay apply and close all right guys very first thing that will go and create the object of pd document class okay pd document let's call it document equals to new pd document okay then next is we have to create the object of pd page class okay let's do that pd page page let's call it page equals to new pd page and then let's attach this page to the document so what i will do i will make use of the the document object dot add page and i will pass the page here okay all right guys so this way we have a pdf document having one blank page there is no content added so how can we save the document so we'll use document 
dot save function it says that you have to pass the file name right so what i will do i'll just go and create a path and then file name as well private let's call it a static a string path equals to i'll put the path in a minute private static string pdf underscore name equals to let's call it ok java dot pdf okay let me set the path okay so basically i'm going to save the pdf on the desktop okay and pdf file name is ok java dot pdf so what i will do here i'll pass new file so i'll pass file path plus pdf name okay so now what it says you have to add try catch block we'll do that okay so what i will do i'll just move everything inside try okay and next thing is that we have to close the document right close so what i will do i'll use this document object dot close okay let me run and then let's see the output java application check the console pdf created let's go to desktop and verify desktop okay java okay so this is our pdf a blank page nothing else is there so, so far we are good now guys we have to add content to our pdf right so add text there is another class it's called pd page content stream pd page content stream let's call this object as content stream equals to new so we have to pass two things pd page document and okay so document is here and page is here content stream now to write the content right what we have to do is we have to first content dot there is a function called begin text okay now content stream dot short text and here i'll pass the text right so hello trishan correct and then what you do is content stream dot there is another function called and text okay now guys let me run this one and then let's see what exactly this guy behaves so it says there is a problem you must call set font before show text function okay so let me do that so what i will do here is content stream dot set font okay font size i'll pass 14 and here i have to pass the font type okay so to set the font i have used the object of pd type 1 font class okay and here is the font size now what i will do i have to close the stream as well right so for that close content stream close content stream so what i will do here content stream dot there is a function called close okay so now okay guys one more thing we have to set the position we don't know like where exactly this this text will appear on the pdf right so for that we have to set the position so to set the position will make use a function called new line offset and here we have to pass the position i'm just passing some random position here okay and save let's run and then let's see the result so open pdf and then okay here i can see hello i am little trishan so this is good so we are able to add text now guys in case if we have to add multi-line text how can we do that right so to add multi-line text we have to set a property it's called set leading okay so we have to set the set leading so for that there is a function called with the same name set leading okay and here you have to specify 14 basically you can pass a floating value here after this content stream dot i can call a function here new line and then content stream dot short text here i'll pass a text here and then i will just add the text in a minute then again new line and then content stream dot basically i want to add here two strings like two different strings i will add here stream dot new line okay not path here yes, this is not the path i will pass two strings two random strings here okay give me a minute okay guys so i copied these two random lines from the official website of apache pdf box i'm adding text one and text two okay let me just run and then let's see the result go to desktop open the pdf so here i can see this is my very first string and then these two new strings i can see here okay so this is all good now is next how can we add an image right so for that i'll just go back and we'll set the image path we'll make use of the same path because on my desktop i see there's an image it's called java next level dot png right so i will make use of the same image i just want to display same image in the pdf document so what i will do private as image name equals to java next level dot png okay so how can we add an image so pd image x object okay i m g image equals to so basically this is the object that we'll be using to attach or to insert the image into the pdf okay and then from here pd image object dot create from 
file okay so we'll come back to the arguments before that we have to set the path so path from java.neo or let's call it image path equals to path dot get you pass the URI so what I will do I'll pass here path plus image name okay right so now I'll copy this image path let's go here dot to absolute path dot to string and another argument is the document okay content stream dot there is a function called draw image okay draw image so let's take this one where we have to pass the image object and the position of x coordinate and y coordinate okay so image object x coordinate i'll keep it zero. it doesn't matter i can keep it zero or ten and say here i'll just pass 300 some random position okay and now what i will do i'll simply close and then let's run and then let's see the outcome what i want to see is i want to see the image on the pdf document okay let's go refresh and uh, open the pdf document okay guys i can see the image here right so here is the text that we added earlier and here is the image that we added just now okay guys now next we'll set some properties or the attributes you can say pdf title creator right subject or some keywords i will explain how to add and where can we go and verify these properties okay so for that we'll be using an object of there is a class called pd document information okay so let's call it pd document information pdi equals to document dot get document information okay now i'll use to set the properties pdi dot and then if you see here set right you can set author you can set creation date you can set creator you can set keywords producer subject title and like many more things okay so let's go with the title first so title is going to be a string so i'll just pass here okay java pdi dot set say author again i'll just pass here okay youtube slash okay java dot com right and then next is pdi dot set i can set uh we'll come back to the creation date in a minute let's set the creator so again i will just pass in capital okay then pdi dot set what i can set i can set keywords or subject right so subject let's say again okay, java and pdi dot set keywords you can try like all the different options here but for now i'll just keep it like that only pdf box create pdf like that random things i have put here okay let me just quickly set the, the date as well like creation date or and modification date thing you already raised we have set the enough attributes or enough properties what we'll do we'll simply run the program and then we'll verify okay let's go here right click run a java application okay pdf created let's go to desktop and click on the now guys how to verify the properties and the documents if you click here right click on the pdf and then on bottom the last option which it says document properties click on that so guys here you will see pdf file name title author subject keywords and applications okay java like that so basically here you can go and verify the properties or the attributes okay so this is all good what else okay now guys the big thing we have to secure our pdf right secure or encrypt secure pdf or say basically you have to set the permission and all right permission okay this is very important concept so for that guys we'll be dealing with two objects one is called access permission and second one is production policies okay so first of all we'll go and we'll create the object of access permission class so what we'll do access access permission let's call it what permission only and then new new access permission okay now we have to set the permission like for example can we print the pdf can modify or read on, like or read only like that right so permission dot can can print okay so basically this set is to true so what i will do i will just set permission dot set so permission dot set you can see here like we have got different so let's make it false okay you can modify you can modify and then permission dot dot set then you will see different options like for example uh, can print as well do you want to allow printing or not i'll set it false and then we have got permission permission dot set read only now guys to make it work right this alone permission object won't work we have to go with the standard production policy object as well okay so we'll go and we'll create this instance of a standard protection policy object okay uh, production policy right so let's do that a standard production policy let's call it protection policy equals to new standard production policy here now guys if you see here let's talk about the argument so what i will do let me just bring this one down here okay so if you see the very first argument is very first argument is the owner password then user password and then the permissions okay so what i will do 
for simplicity i'm just going to introduce two new variables right here string let's call it honor password equals to honor string user password equals to user okay now so what i will do here i'll just pass honor password right and then next parameter is the user password and then permission object as is okay i can also do one more thing can i just set the production policy dot encryption key length okay so 128 to make it secure all right now is the, we are missing with one more thing we have to apply this protection policy to the our document object so uh, document dot protect there is a function called protect and we have to pass this object protection policy okay so basically apply protection okay we are good now let me just close this pdf save and i will rerun our program okay pdf created let's go to the desktop open pdf okay so this part is good so i'm putting the password and let me open the document okay so i can see so basically our encryption is working perfectly fine all right guys so let me just summarize what exactly we have done here in this program we first created one pdf document then added one blank page then we added text then we saw how can we add a multi-line text to the pdf document then we discussed how can we add an image to the pdf and then set the properties like title author creator subject and keywords right and then we discussed about the the permission right how can we make our pdf more secure all right i hope this is clear okay so guys i will upload the code on the git account from where you can download and then you can give it right yourself all right thank you for watching